correction for things. What a factorial button means, what a permutation is, what a combination is, and what is distinguishable events. So there's, even though our book says there's only two things, there's actually four. So we'll, we'll talk about each one of them today. Let me get a nice fresh marker. I got all these markers and none of them seem to be like great. I have to break into the cupboard. Woo. That one's doable. Let me grab it. Okay. First thing we're going to talk about is a permutation. Whenever you hear the word permutation, order matters. Order matters. We're putting things in order. Okay. So, um, Let's do that example right there. How many ways can five people be arranged for a photo? How many ways can five people be arranged in for a photo? Do you agree that I'm putting them in some type of order? Okay, now I'm, I always like to do this and you should know this by now. Okay, I have five people. I wanna put them in order. Well, how many choices do I have for the first person? How many? Five. And then what? Four. Four. And then what? Four. And I'm doing something more than once. What am I going to do with those numbers? Am I going to add them or multiply? Multiple. I'm going to multiply. Anytime you do something more than once. Now let me ask you this. Did I say the word or anywhere in this statement? Absolutely not. If you don't see the word or, you're not, you're not adding. So on your calculator, you would just go 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. There are 120 different ways I could arrange five people in a photograph. It would look different every single time, a different order. It's the same people, but a different order. Does that make sense? So, I mean, think about all the different combinations there are. Now, what if I asked you this, and maybe not right now. Let's say we have a baseball, I'm a baseball coach, and I have nine people on a team. How many different ways can I make come up with a batting lineup? 362,800. Okay. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What did you get, Damien? 362,880. 880? Okay. If I have nine people, and I say, okay, I'm gonna come up with a different lineup every day, every day. I'm gonna go a different batting order. There's 362,000 different ways I can do that. I'd have to be a coach a really long time to cover all possible lineups. Now, this is a lot of work, right? I mean, we don't wanna do this every single time. So, we're gonna introduce you to this. It's called factorial. And factorial is represented by an exclamation point. So rather than me going nine times eight times seven times six times five on my calculator, I can just go nine factorial. And the calculator will do nine times eight times seven times six times five all the way down, okay? Now, that button on your calculators, for let's do the graphing calculators first. Type in nine, you always type in the number first, so type in nine and then go to math, go to math, do you see to the far right, PRB? Go to PRB, and I believe it's line four. As you'll see an exclamation point. Press enter. So on your screen, it should say nine factorial. Press enter. There's, there's that. Okay. Real quick, if you want to try it, this problem here, I would have just went five factorial. Hey, we're going five, four, three, two, one. That's five factorial. Okay, so I'd go five math PRB down to line four enter. Does anybody have their own calculator? They're not sure where that is. Factorial. Okay, so I want you to think about this. Factorial is a permutation. It is a permutation. 
okay? Order matters. Now what's confusing is now there's another formula for a permutation. So a factorial, notice that I'm only doing like nine people in a row. I'm not selecting two parts. Our next type of permutation is what's called a permutation, okay? It's represented as NPR, NPR. Outside of statistics, what does NPR stand for? Anybody listen to it? National Public Radio. National Public Radio. It's kind of a talk radio kind of thing. Okay, here is the formula for permutation. I don't want you to get too wrapped up with it, um, but it's N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay. The most important thing about this formula is number one, order matters. That's how you tell the difference between a permutation and a combination. You ask yourself, does order matter? And if you say yes, it's a permutation, okay? Let's talk about N and R. N is the total number, you know, 10 people are in a race. 50 cars are in a race, 50 people, you know, whatever the total number is. R is part of the total. Okay, so here's a typical question. There's eight people in a race. How many ways can they finish first, second, third? people in a race, how many ways can they finish first, second, and third? Okay. Well, do we see that there's two parts here? Up here, there was only one part. How many ways can I do a lineup of nine people? Now I'm saying I have eight people, but I'm only taking part of them. So order matter here. Order matters, right? I have first, second, and third. I'm putting them in order. So I would say that this is a permutation. So I just have to go eight permutation three. This is all the work I need to show. You don't need to show me the formula. If you were to do the formula here, you would go eight factorial divided by eight minus three factorial. I mean, that's what it would look like if you were running the formula, okay? I just want you to do it on your calculators, okay? Here's how you enter it. Type in eight first, go to math, go to PRB, exactly where you just did factorial, and then type in three. Or go to, what is it, line three? Line two. So go eight, go to math, go to probability, go to line two. So on your screen, you're gonna see eight, then you're gonna see NPR, and then type in three afterwards. So eight permutation three. So eight, let me do it. Eight, math, PRB, line two, three. And my answer is 336. So, I have eight people running around the track. I want to, how many ways can those eight people finish first, second, and third? 336 different ways. Okay, maybe I get first, second, third. Maybe the next race, I get second, first, third. Okay, I mean, there's so many different combinations that can happen, okay? So do you see order matters, order matters. Here's another one that a lot of people kind of struggle with. If I have 10 people and I need to select a president and a vice president. So I have eight people and I need to select a president and a vice president. Does order matter here? I mean, yes, I'm selecting a president. Then once I select him, he's done. And now I select a vice president. Okay, so this would be 10 permutation two. I've selected a president and a vice president. Let me just tell you the answer. It would be 56 different ways. Okay, 
see how a permutation works and uh, to me they're easy to spot because I'm picking two things I have ten people and I need two I have ten people I need two so I know it's either a permutation or a combination any questions off what a permutation is both of these by the way are technically called permutations order matters the only thing difference about this one it's it's so many items and you're only picking a few of them here you're just taking them all okay we good can I erase this part all right last thing or almost last let's talk about let's talk about um, a combination okay for a combination the it's n c r let me give you the formula real quick the, the formula is definitely more complicated it's n factorial n minus r factorial times r factorial so if we're doing it by hand that's what we would have to do but we're not we're going to go straight calculator here order doesn't matter so that's how you tell the difference you just ask yourself does order matter here and if it does it's a permutation if it doesn't it's a combination okay here's a, here's a typical example uh, I work at a pizza fact or a pizza shop I need to come up with a three item pizza I have 20 choices for for ingredients 20 things I could throw on this pizza but I only need three of them does order matter I just need three toppings. Throw on some pepperoni, some sausage, and black olive. I just need three toppings. So order doesn't matter here. So it would just be 20 combination three. Order is not important. I just need three items, okay? If you do that, here is your answer. 1,140 different ways I could make that pizza. A three item pizza out of 20 ingredients, okay? Now, if you've ever worked at a pizza shop, you, you kind of know that order matters a little bit, right? I mean, normally you don't put your cheese on the bottom and then your pepperoni on top of that. That usually goes last, but, but um, here we'll just say order didn't matter. Here, here's another way to do it. I'm a florist. And I have to come up with a bouquet of five flowers. I have 15 different flowers to pick from. Does order matter? I just need five flowers. Give me five flowers. So I would say that that's 15 combination five. Order doesn't matter. Just give me five flowers, please. Okay? Any questions about that? Is everybody all right entering that? It's the right where the permutation is, okay? All right, here's our last thing. Our last one, I, I don't want to scare you, but this is by far the most missed question on our test. And I don't know why, but I, I don't know. Maybe because we just don't do a lot of them and that's why. We need to talk about what's called distinguishable events. Distinguishable events. Um, I'm going to give you the formula right off the bat, and maybe this is why people freak out when they see the formula. Okay. Distinguishable events is this. What you're trying to do is tell me how many distinguishable ways a certain event can happen. Now, the reason why I don't understand why people miss it is because when you read the question, it will say, how many distinguishable ways? I mean, it flat out tells you what to do. It's distinguishable events. It'll say it. So I, I guess here's the simple, here's a real simple example to start off. Let's say I give you the word football. And I asked you, how many distinguishable ways can I rewrite this word? How many distinguishable ways can I rewrite this word? Like, how many different ways? Okay. Well, how many letters are there to all together? Eight. eight. Isn't it just a permutation? It's, it's eight factorial. Okay. There, 
if I go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's how many different ways I could rewrite the word football. But notice that in my phrasing, I said distinguishable ways. If you switch those two letters, would I know you switch those? No, they're identical. We can't tell them apart. And so when we go through and count our ways, we have to divide by the repeats. So that's all this statement means is this statement means you divide by the repeats. Okay? If I don't have any repeats, then it's a factorial. But notice I have two O's that repeat. I can't tell the difference between those, so I gotta divide by it. Notice here you have two L's that repeat. You can't tell the difference between them, so I have to divide by that. So I have to divide by the, the items that I can't tell the difference between. Now, if you're going to do this on a calculator, maybe this is why people miss it. This needs to be in parentheses. If you don't put that in parentheses, you're going to miss it. Okay, maybe that's where people go wrong. Yes? What does it say after that last name? Right here? Under the, like, the one, it goes N1, N2, and 3 and then the last one. Oh, N sub K. Because I don't know how many they're going to be. Okay. So I just put it as a K because there could be eight of them. There could be nine of them. There's not a fixed number. Here, let me give you the answer. If I do eight factorial, just so I can give you the answer. So there are 40,320 different ways I could rewrite the football if, if order did matter. 40,320. But since I can't tell the difference between those and those, I got to take them out. Well, two factorial is two times one. Two factorial is two times one. So if I take 40,320 divided by four, I get 10,080. That's crazy. That seems like crazy to me that. We went from 40,000 and just because I have two letters that repeat, it dropped it all the way down to 10,000. So there's only 10,000 distinguishable ways I could rewrite the word football. Because if you switch these two letters and say, oh look, I switched those two O's. I would never know that. We, we would never know that you did that. So we can't include that because we don't know it, okay? So these are easy to do because number one, it'll always say how many distinguishable ways. Number two, all you do is you take the total amount divided by how many repeats there are. Make sure that you put, maybe you want to do it right here, make sure you put that in parentheses if you're going to do it all at one time on your calculator. Okay? Distinguishable events. Okay? A lot of people miss it. All right, there you go. So the hardest part about today's assignment is deciding which method are you going to do. Is it a factorial? Is it a combination? Is it a permutation? Okay, and that's where that's what's hard about it is, you know, I guess maybe you haven't really done these before. Here's what you need to show for work today. That's it. Tell me what you did and give me the answer. And then I can say, well, that should be a permutation. Here's why. And I can look at it immediately and tell you. Okay? All right. We kind of have a lot of problems today, but, but they're all like this. They're all like that. They're either fast for you or they're kind of confusing for you. So we'll see. But this wraps up the chapter. Okay. Um, here we go. We'll put it right here. 174. Let's do... Oh, we just started at 7. Okay, 7 through 14 is just calculator work. They're just gonna they're just gonna ask you what's 15 combination 5? Give me the answer. You're just practicing it on your calculator. Okay, the rest of these, and I'll just tell you it's 15 through 36. The rest of them are all different phrases. You decide what it is and then calculate it out for me. Okay? Like for example, there are 50 runners in a race. How many ways can they finish first, second, or third? What is it? 50P3. 50 50 yep, it's a permutation. 
because we're going first, second, and third. Then give me the answer. Okay. How about you have seven different video games. How many different ways can you arrange the games on a shelf? Seven video games. How many different ways can you arrange them on a shelf? Which one do you think? A what? A permutation, and how would you find that answer? Just seven. Yeah, wouldn't it just be seven factorial? Did I say, hey, you have seven video games on a shelf and you need to pick three of them? You only, you, I didn't even give you a second number. I should tell you it's that then. Seven factorial. Maybe you're old school. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whatever works for you. I don't care how you get it. Oh, excuse me. All right. This wraps up unit three. We're going to review tomorrow. Test on Thursday. Okay. Um, one thing that we haven't done yet, and maybe this is why this chapter is tough, is you notice that we've always done everything separate. Like we did our multiplication problems by themselves, and then we did our addition problems by themselves, and then we did these, and they're by themselves. We haven't had a day where we mix everything up, and that's how your test is. Is everything's mixed up. I don't put them in order. I just like, I want you to kind of think about it and be able to decipher. So, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll try to do for our review a mixed up order so that everything's just not laid out because it's not like that on your test. Okay. All right. I got my book open up here. I have everything labeled. I, and don't be alarmed if you get answers in the billions and the hundred millions. Okay. You might get an answer like 321 million. Because when you're doing large numbers like 20 factorial, that's a huge number, okay? So don't be alarmed with that. But I also labeled my book so that you could come up and say, I don't know if that's a permutation or a combination. And you could just look at my book and I say, hey, it's a combination, okay? So got a lot of time, half hour, get this done, you know, and, and I'm sh I know you're gonna have questions because it's kind of new, new to you guys, okay? I'll be just walking around. Let me stop this. Was there anybody that had calculator?